Nemo Radio is on the air. A, B, C. A, always B, B, C. Closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. Come after me! I'm a man! I'm 40! All right, everybody, it's John Nemo. Welcome back. We are live, live, live. Noon with Nemo is here once again. Uh, I want to make sure everybody can see and hear me okay. So let me know in the chat as you're getting logged in here to the broadcast. And I know some of you are just listening to the replay on audio. Hello, hello, podcast listeners. All right, so a couple quick things. Um, want to make sure as we're getting set up that I'll talk about today's topic, introduce it. It's going to be all about how to monetize your knowledge. Um, and then let me also put a couple other things in here to make sure for our live broadcast that things are working. Just type yes in the chat box. If you can see and hear me. Okay. I want to make sure that the chat is working. All right. So good audio video issues. Cause I see we've got, let me make sure everything's working. All right. So yeah, we're still waiting for people to log in here. It looks like, okay. So again, my name is John Nemo. So, so excited that you're here for the live training today. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Noon with Nemo. Uh, let me see. We got, all right, now people are coming in. We got David, we got Miles, we got Rebecca. All right, good, good, good. Let me know in the chat again if you can see and hear me okay. Uh, and also, let's do this. Um, let me know where you are logging in from for our live audience. Um, I would love to know in the chat where you're logging in from and what type of work you do. So let me know that. And then let's make sure. Yeah, Webinar GM's not showing me all the names. It says there's tons of people in here. Jay is here. David is here. All right, good, good, good. Miles says, yo, John. All right, good to see you, Miles, Orlando, Florida. All right, good to have you. What type of work do you do, Miles? Remind me again. Tell us in the chat. David from Seattle. What type of work do you do, David? Tell us in the chat. I want to know. Um, and then I'll also launch a little quick poll here. I would love to see if it's your first time on Noon with Nemo. So we'll get that launched. Um, definitely want to know if this is your first time. Ken is back. All right, Ken from outside D.C. and Virginia. Love it, love it. All right, oh, Miles does digital marketing. Very cool. All right, Ken is back. I love, his, love the chat. All right, so again, my name is John Nemo. This is Noon with Nemo. If I look like a disheveled uh, mess here on the video broadcast, it's because I am. I, I am giving up. Right now, it is snowing again in Minnesota. This is the time of the year in Minnesota where we just kind of give up. <laughs> we just kind of say enough. Like, uncle, I cry, pardon, please help. Like, send an ambulance. I don't know what. Send a helicopter. Get me out of here. Uh, all the people that are lucky are at beaches right now sending, you know, Facebook hashtag blast on the beach. We're back here in Minneapolis just suffering. It's flurries and snow and cold. I'm just giving up. I'm giving up. I'm not shaving. Why bother? Put on a hat. Like there's nowhere to go. I live in an igloo now. So anyway, <laughs> enough complaining, enough complaining. Let me know in the chat where you're from. I bet miles in Orlando is doing just fine today with the weather. All right. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, all right. We've got a lot of new people on hundred percent so far that have voted in the poll. So welcome to your first ever noon with Nemo. Also glad you're here. All right, David says, nice Minnesota North Stars, baby. Good, I'm glad you get my old school NHL references. This matters to me, David. Uh, I love it. Oh, you, oh, uh, Miles sees a picture behind me. No, that's actually San Diego. I wish it was Hawaii, man. I wish it was there. Ken says, get out your snowshoes and quit complaining. I can't, I can't argue with that, buddy. All right, so I want to welcome everybody that's getting logged in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, let us know if you haven't already. Jack, everybody else, Uzo, I see some other names popping in. Sarah is here in East Texas. Sarah, I saw you just picked up the email marketing machine. Thank you. Um, Sarah, you're an accountant, a CPA, and a bookkeeper, I believe, in Texas, correct? So I already know what you're doing. See, I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention. Welcome, Sarah. Glad you made it in. All right, so we got more people logging in, too. So I want to welcome everybody to today's training. Again, my name is John Nemo. If you haven't already, let us know in the chat where you're logging in from, what type of work you do. It's great to have you here. Um, but without further ado, I want to dive into the training. I want to make sure that we get in and dive into one of my favorite topics, and it really is how to monetize your knowledge, how to take all this stuff up here 
and turn it into money, turn it into revenue, how to really sell your brains, so to speak. There's a whole method to the madness here, um, and I'm excited to share. So without further ado, let me fire up the training, get that ready. I'm going to hop off the keyboard, or not off, but behind the keyboard, I should say, off camera, and I'm going to have a little bit of training, some slides. I'll be talking, jumping around um, on how to monetize your knowledge and really the secret to doing it, scaling it, all that stuff. So without further ado, let's dive in. So let's dive in. Let's talk about how to monetize your knowledge, really the secret to selling your brains. I love that expression because that's really what this is all about. Now, this is an important caveat disclaimer, right? Like if this guy can do it, if I can do this, if I can figure this out, Mr. Popcorn Bucket on his head playing Star Wars with his kids, trust me, there is no reason you cannot be doing the exact same thing when it comes to really understanding how to monetize your knowledge and really the starting place is you know we've got to figure out why so many of you and this used to be me frankly too why so many of us struggle monetizing our knowledge like why is it so difficult and really i've identified four big mistakes these are really the four things that i did wrong uh, early on in my business career that i still see again and again and again with lots of my clients and customers and frankly, mistakes that I sometimes fall back into. So they're, they're very near and dear to my heart. And I want to start with this first one. This is a big one here. And Rosie the dog is making her first appearance in the webinar. But you've got to understand so many people don't think they have anything of value to sell. So many people tell themselves that lie. And the way I want to counteract that, if you're sitting there going, well, I don't really know that I have any expertise or knowledge, who would really want to pay me for insights? If you sit back and actually ask yourself and consider some of these questions, you're really going to see that you do have a lot to offer. I love this photo. This is me back in, I think, 1996. This was a huge moment for me when I was actually covering the Minnesota Twins as an intern for the Twins magazine, their, their kind of teen publication. And that was the beginning of my professional career. So now I'm 25 years in all these different things. And look at these questions. You can ask yourself, has anyone else lived your unique life story? Because trust me, there's a lot of expertise and value and insights in your life, just in the obstacles you've had to overcome, the mindset you've had to develop, the uh, empathy that you have that you can bring to people based on whatever you've gone through. All of that has value. All of that has monetary value. Your unique life experience, lessons, and different things you've gone through, you know, not to mention accomplishments. But also think about this, like even if you're starting out and you don't have a ton of experience and accolades, you how much time have you put in? Can you really identify, you know, I've spent over, you know, a thousand hours studying every single copywriter on planet Earth, really honing my craft studying because that can be another selling point is I've put in this much time, you know, I've written over 10,000 articles, whatever it might be, you've got that in your wheelhouse if you're passionate about your subject, your topic. I've read this many books on whatever. Um, also, think about this. How much knowledge have you really acquired over the years? How much experience have you built related to what you do? So I could say, hey, if you need my help as a writer, you know, look at the image on this screen. I've got 25 years of experience as a writer, journalist, author, blogger, public relations. Like, so you can talk about I've got and acquired all this experience and knowledge in my area of expertise. Last and perhaps most importantly that you can use for sales is showing your results. Like what kind of results have you gotten for yourself? It can be your own journey, your own story, but even better, it can be your clients. What have you been able to do for them? This is the reality. This is the truth is you do have something to sell. You do. You do have expertise and knowledge. It's really more so about how you frame it. And that leads to the key, which is you've got to show people what your knowledge is worth. You've actually got to show them. And I love this quote from Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. He wrote this, keep in mind, almost 100 years ago, 1936. This was what Carnegie thought of the world at large in 1936. He said, this is the day of dramatization. Like, you can't just state the truth. You can't just tell people. It has to be made vivid, interesting, dynamic. You have to use showmanship 
The movies do it. TV does it. And you will have to do it if you want attention. Now, if he thought that was the case in 1936, how much more is it the case almost 100 years later here in our world? And there's so many ways you can do this. Let me show you even one example to start with of how back in you know the late 2000s when I was working corporate jobs, day jobs, before I went on my own, I would actually make a video resume kind of showcasing my knowledge. Take a look at this. And another time I, you know, again, I had a lot of hunger and knowledge wanting to learn how to use social media when it first came on the scene. Yes, I'm so old. I started my career before the internet even existed. <laughs> uh, but when social media started hitting the scene, I was really active and in, in jumping into different groups. And so one of the ways I could show off my knowledge to potential employers or later on to clients was saying, hey, look, I've been featured on the local CBS affiliates news. And all it was was me jumping into at the time this cutting edge technology of a video call, right? This was cutting edge stuff back in the day with Google Plus and video calls. And I actually got featured on the local news for it. So have a look. Ultimately, it um, just shows how addicted we are to Facebook. Then. Local PR guy John Nemo joined four other digital experts in a video chat. Facebook doesn't have this feature. We had to go to the new social network, Google+. Plus. This is like the nerd capital of Minnesota. It's almost like a, there's a social media arms race going on right now. People are constantly trying to one-up each other and, and keep up. And so again, these are very simple things where you see opportunity, you take advantage of it. But again, it's really about how you frame it, that showmanship that Dale Carnegie talks about, showing off your knowledge. Now, the second big mistake, and this is an enormous one, is you let people pick your brain for free. Oh, okay. The dreaded coffee meeting, the dreaded, can I buy you lunch and pick your brain? If any of you do this, if any of you are still doing this, I'm going to climb through the computer right now, uh, back out of your phone, out of your monitor, and grab you and wring your neck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm going to punch you in the face. No, we're not, no violence allowed. But listen, this is such a critical, critical mistake for so many reasons. You have to stop letting people pick your brain for free. Think about this. When you let people, quote, pick your brain, buy you coffee, ask your advice, get your thoughts on something, right, for free, or let's have a Zoom and just chat and get to know each other, it really cheapens your value. Uh, if you're just giving away your knowledge, it can't be worth that much. If I can buy your expertise for the price of a cup of coffee, what's it really worth? Even worse, this really wastes your time and energy. You sit there, again, just in a one-to-one -one setting. It's not like a webinar or a speech or a big group of people. You're pouring out all your expertise and passion and emotion to one person who, what, bought you a 2 or $3 cup of coffee? Like, you're just draining yourself for no good reason. Uh, you can really feel stupid and discouraged. I have a huge kind of moment where this really crystallized for me when I stopped. I said, never again will I let someone pick my brain. And the last thing is, really, it sabotages your sales. The old expression is true. Why buy the cow if the milk is free? If I can just pick your brain and get free advice, why would I ever pay you for the same type of services? 
So I love this story. This is my never again moment. When back when I still had kind of a scarcity mindset, I was afraid. I was afraid to turn down anyone that wanted to talk to me, anyone that wanted advice. What I did was I had an executive here in the Twin Cities actually call me and say, hey, we're interested in using LinkedIn for lead generation. Would you be willing to drive across town spend an hour at our office, teach us about LinkedIn, and then, you know, we can see if there's any, you know, synergies, or maybe we'll want to use some of your services, etc. So I literally did stuff I never do, which is I got up, I got showered, <laughs> like I work from home, like, that's the whole benefit, like I work in my pajamas all day, I got all cleaned up, I put on a tie, I dressed up, I fought rush hour traffic, I drove across town, and I did this great presentation for an hour. I poured out my heart and soul to this executive and his team about how great LinkedIn was. And I customized it for them and gave them all this great advice and tips and gave them free copies of my book. And then at the end of the hour, they said, yeah, thanks. See you later. Like they didn't want to buy anything. They were like, yeah, we were just curious. You've really opened our eyes. We'll have to think about this. You know, maybe we'll circle back if we ever want to do anything with it. But uh, anyway, thanks. You know, here, do we need a uh, do you want us to validate your parking? Like, I mean, I think that's all I got out of it. And I was so mad. So I remember driving home, drained, frustrated, angry, stuck in rush hour traffic, going back the other way, uh, all the way across town, yanking the tie down off my collar and just being like, you are such an idiot. Why did you go over and give them all your expertise without, you know, demanding a thing up front or or without a promise of anything in return? Right? The executive didn't mislead me. He just said, "Come educate us and we're we're curious and maybe we'll use you someday in the future." Like that was my never again moment when I'm like, "I'm never doing another coffee meeting. I'm never doing a free lunch. I'm never letting someone pick my brain. I'm never going to present to people like that again." unless they come to me and qualify. And that's the big thing. And I love these quotes from John Michael Morgan, my business coach. And I first read these in 2012. And that's this was the book that John wrote called Branding Against a Machine that really convinced me he was the real deal. And he made so much sense about this. He said, you know, if you're letting someone buy you lunch in exchange for your expertise, it can't be worth much, right? Like that's so true. Another issue that John points out in all of this is the perceived value. If they can get good advice and all it costs them is a cup of coffee or lunch, where's the motivation? Like what's the, you know, fire underneath to actually implement any of that? If I just gave it to you for free or for, you know, lunch, that's the thing. And John makes such a good point here in his book. He says, if someone has no skin in the game, they're not going to take action. Now, you know, by comparison, if they paid $10,000 to go to lunch with John, you're darn right they would take action on the investment, right? They would immediately jump in and apply. And I love John's sense of humor. He's like, on a side note, if you don't want to pay me ten grand, uh, just name the place, right? He's great because he's illustrating this key principle. Now, the third big mistake that I see all the time that I was guilty of for years was giving away your best knowledge one-to-one instead of one to many. So let me explain this. Um, if you answer like each email one to one, why are you doing that, right? Because again, you're only helping one person at a time. Instead, you can bottle up your answers and make that a blog post or a podcast topic. So instead of doing it one to one, it's one to many. Another example, if someone asks you for advice via a Facebook message or a LinkedIn message, Offer to answer it in a group setting. And I'm going to show you an example of this later. But instead, say, that's a great question. I'd actually love to save that for my next podcast. Or I'd love to actually answer your question on my next live training. You should show up, right? <laughs> instead of giving it away one-to-one, -one, take that valuable answer and give it away to a bunch of people at once. Also, if you keep getting the same questions and you answer them over and over and over from scratch, Bottle those up and make that an FAQ page, right? Here are the most common questions people have about LinkedIn, and here are my answers. Here are my tips. And, and that way, when someone emails you or messages you, you don't have to be rude. You don't have to be a jerk. You don't have to be arrogant. You can say, hey, great question. I get it all the time. 
here's a link to my best answer. And that's what I've done to save myself so much time and energy. Take those best and most frequent questions and turn them into a lead magnet. Turn them into an actual valuable piece of content that's going to bring you revenue on the other side. So, for example, I get this question all the time on LinkedIn every day, dozens of times a day. Hey, John, love your stuff. Can you give me some tips on my LinkedIn profile? Can you take a look at my profile and give me some feedback? My answer every time is no, <laughs> but in a very polite way. My, I have a very polite script that says, hey, I'm so flattered and honored you would want my advice. That means a lot to me. You know, in reality, I just don't have the bandwidth and the ability to give everyone who asks free feedback and free advice. I, you know, that's something I have to, you know, do in a paid relationship as a coach or a consultant. However, you know, I'm not going to leave you high and dry. I've got a great free resource for you. Um, that's my exact playbook. It's my ultimate LinkedIn profile template. Here's the link. You can download it. It's a copy and paste fill in the blank, you know, script. This will really give you all my best tips and insights on how to, you know, create a really good LinkedIn profile. So you're not being a jerk. You're not being arrogant. You're not being standoffish. You're just saying, look, I can't just give that knowledge away, but I have bottled it up as this free resource. Now, if they want to move into hiring you, that's a different discussion, right? But that protects your brand and protects your time. And take these questions, which are valuable, and telling you what people want help with, turn them into content. That's really the secret sauce here. Now, wait, 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 I know what you're saying. You just got done saying, you know, don't give away your knowledge. Don't do free coffee. Don't let people pick your brain. And now you're saying, give it all away. Like, what are you doing here, Nemo? Right? Like, this is my son, Bailey, looking shocked and confused. I love this image. Like, wait, now you're saying give it away? Yes. Yes. If you give away and let people, quote unquote, pick your brain the right way, it's very, very lucrative and very important. But the key is giving away your expertise and letting people pick your brain in a strategic fashion, one to many instead of one to one. So create lead magnets, ebooks and templates and PDFs and free video trainings that grow your email list so you can eventually market and sell to those people. Do it as a webinar where you can offer a product or a service at the end to purchase, right? Do it as a podcast where you can really build a, a loyal audience of followers and have sponsors or, you know, have an ability to sell something to that audience later on. There's all these different ways you can do it, and you do have to let people pick your brain. You do have to give away your knowledge in today's environment, and here's why. If you go online... Anyone can claim expertise. You can tell me you're the greatest business coach ever and point to your resume and say you're awesome, but can you actually demonstrate it? Can you actually show me how you can help me? Can you actually demonstrate your knowledge? Because that's a big separator for everyone online is sure, everyone claims they're the guru. How many can actually demonstrate it? How many can show me in a way where I don't have to take a lot of risk as the viewer or the reader? Now, the thing is, if you can give away your best tips where you bottle it up online, then people start to get to know you and like you and trust you. This is the whole idea behind content marketing. You're demonstrating expertise, you're sharing tips that help people get what they want, but you're also infusing and injecting your personality. You're bringing yourself into it so they get to know you personally and like you, just like I'm doing on this training, right? Goofy photos of me and my kids and sharing my stories. You're getting to like me through it and like, he's kind of a funny guy, whatever. And also you're getting some expertise, some training that you can use. Also, remember, people have to be convinced that your approach will work for them. Again, if you just claim it'll work, that's one thing, but people want to sample it. It's like going to a restaurant and, you know, getting a free appetizer and saying, that was really good. I want the full meal or, you know, getting a sample of the new cookies that you have, right? And I want to buy the whole box. So they've got to really test and try it for themselves to be convinced that what you're offering will work for them. Also, best of all, and this is why sales can be so easy for you, is if you do a good job with your free content that really pre-sells and pre-frames your audience. They already trust you. They already like you. They already know that your stuff works. Now, when you engage them on a discovery call or whatever it is, they come in pre-sold. They know it works. It's much more a call about how does it look to work with you? What are the structures? What are the fees? What are the options? What are the programs? That's where you want to be on a sales call. And that's what your content does. It pre-sells you, pre-frames you, helps people get to know and like you. 
convince themselves what you're doing will work for them. So when they come into that call, it's much more just about, hey, what does it look like to work with you? What are my options? That's the that's the place you want to be. So another big mistake that I see a ton, and, and I see this a lot with coaches and consultants, is you're just too easy to reach. You're just too easy to reach. People can go to the front page of your website and literally book a free discovery call on the spot without any qualifications, without any hoops to jump through. People can just book calls with you all day long and you have no idea if they're qualified. Like, think about this. I could have Rosie the dog, you know, book and show up on a free discovery call with you, right? Like I literally could do that with a lot of coaches and consultants. And what this does is it destroys your brand. If you do not pre-qualify someone before you give them an opportunity to talk to you live, it destroys your brand. It destroys your credibility. It also says to me, if I go onto your site and I see a bunch of open times every day uh, where I can book 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, what does that say about you? Does it say that you're super busy and important and have a ton of clients and work? Or does it say like you're not doing anything? Right? Like there's that appearance of you're kind of desperate or you, you know, you really don't have uh, much going on if you're available anytime all day for these calls. Like that's a huge red flag to a prospect because, you know, we're thinking of that as, well, wait a minute. Like what does Tony Robbins daily calendar look like? Can I just book 15 minute calls with him all day? Like, no, right. You want to give that appearance of credibility and authority that, You don't just get to jump on the phone with you, right? Like people have to actually work for it. You want to play hard to get. Remember, you want to make people earn the right to talk to you. They need to qualify. They need to jump through some hoops. This is a big one because I know a lot of people get stuck here with the scarcity mindset and fear of, well, if I don't immediately, you know, talk to someone, especially if they say they're interested in my service, what am I doing? I might miss a sale. And believe me, I went down this road for so long and so many times where I would just say, if someone like said to me, hey, I'm interested in LinkedIn, can we talk? I'd be like, yes, yes, yes. Why I pick up the phone immediately. I'm telling you, okay, (laughs) from from experience and years of doing this, 99.9% of the people who you just jump on a call with Uh, aren't qualified, aren't ready, you're not going to make a sale out of it. You're going to get drained and disgusted and just dejected. Make them jump through hoops. Make them pre-qualify. Make sure that you're not just too available and too easy to reach. You want to play hard to get. You want to be this expert. You want to be this person where they have to respect your time and you don't just give away your knowledge and expertise to anyone for free. And you're serious and selective about who you talk to as a prospect and client. That's the position and the authority you want to have. So here's how to deal with this. This is a great example, real time, and I've you know blocked out names to protect the innocent. <laughs> but I got this message on LinkedIn recently, and it's, hey, John, congrats on the success with your work. I want to expand my services, blah, blah, blah. Can we set up a short call next week at your convenience? Want to know what works for you? Thanks in advance, right? I want some feedback. And I was like, wait a minute here. So basically, I write back at the bottom, hey, thanks for the note. What type of insights are you looking for? Feedback, coaching, like, let's clarify here, right? Before I hop on the phone with you. And the person basically says feedback. I love this part of, you know, your business and how you do this. And I would love uh, to pursue a similar tactic with organizations for my services. So do you have 20 minutes to talk? And I was like, oh, no. (laughs) So in a polite way, of course, thanks for clarifying. And then just very politely, you can say something like, so that would probably fall into the sphere of paid coaching, which I'm happy to offer if that's of interest. Otherwise, basically, you find a way to say, otherwise, if it's just about picking my brain, getting some free feedback, if you have a free resource, offer that. So I say, hey, you know, typically I have some live Q&A periods for tips and feedback on my Noon with Nemo. If that's of interest, I can send you the link. And the person says, yeah, great. I'll look into Noon with Nemo. Right. So what you're doing in this case is you're protecting your brand. You're not giving away your time. You're not giving away your expertise, but you're also not being a jerk. You're not saying I'm too important. I would never just give free advice. You just say like, hey, in reality, this isn't, you know, a quick thing. It's it's not there's never such there's never anything like I just have a quick question or I need five minutes. That just does not exist. Anyone who tells you that I just have one quick question. Can we talk? Uh, uh-uh. Like it never is that. So you just got to protect it and say, 
look, here's some ways that you can interact with me for free, either in a group setting, a webinar or whatever, or, you know, um, submit a question to answer on my podcast. Or if you want more detailed one-on-one advice and expertise, um, then I'm happy to do that. But it's a paid engagement and I could share the rates. And some people say, yeah, actually, I would be interested in hiring you. I've been following you long enough. I know what you have, et cetera. So this is the good news. You can serve people well. You can offer free tips. You can let them pick your brain, so to speak, but in a strategic way that also protects your brand's value and saves you time and energy. You can have your cake and you can eat it too in this instance. That is the key lessons I want you to take out of this. So really understanding kind of as we wrap up this training, how do you monetize it? Like what are some proven methods and and proven models to utilize? So there's really some, you know, core models that I use that I've seen work again and again and again. And really, you know, obviously the easiest and fastest way is coaching or consulting one-on-one or group. Hey, you want to pick my brain? You want my knowledge? I can show up and give you advice. It's, you know, X dollars per hour or whatever your package is. Another great thing is to bottle up all your expertise as an online course, on demand, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. People can access your brain through these training modules that they pay for, and you don't have to show up. You don't have to teach. You don't have to answer questions. They basically you know, use your online courses like a library or like Wikipedia, right? Like that's another way you can monetize all your expertise. Um, you can do something like a video show or a podcast, right? These are enormous. You can build a huge following where people show up week after week, day after day to watch and learn and listen to you to you know get your knowledge and you monetize that in the form of sponsorships. If you look at John Lee Dumas, Entrepreneur on Fire, he built this podcasting empire basically around seven days a week, he would interview entrepreneurs. And he started with, you know, smaller names, people that we wouldn't immediately recognize. But because the show kept building and because his audience kept getting bigger and more dedicated, eventually he started getting big name people. And now Tony Robbins wants to be on the show. And all these famous people want to do it because John Lee Dumas has built a model, a podcast with a really big, loyal audience. There's lots of different ways you can monetize this expertise, this knowledge. There's lots of different things you can do. And the final one, of course, is done for you services. So you can say, I can take all my knowledge on this topic and I can actually do it for you, you know, either individually or like with an agency. That's another very lucrative approach. So at this point, I would love to know if you want to learn more, because if you want to learn more, oh boy, I got something good for you today. So it's called On Demand Experts. This is an amazing new course I put together that really shows you how to monetize your knowledge. It's really all about what we've done today, but taking it further and hearing it straight from the experts, the people that have actually done this and built this. So check this out. By the way, this course is only $47. Like I'm making this no brainer level. And what you're going to discover is I've got over 25 different audio and video interviews with a who's who of marketing and sales and entrepreneurship. So you're going to learn how to build a bulletproof business with John Lee Dumas, how to master email marketing with Chris Brogan, kind of the secret to becoming a well-known social media superstar with social media examiners, Michael Stelzner. He pulls back the curtain all of it, how he built the social media examiner empire. You get the whole story here. Uh, John Janch on duct tape marketing, right? I've got one of the guys from Shark Tank from the original series sharing his secret to five billion in sales. Uh, this is one of my most popular ones, seven lessons from a former Disney executive on leadership. Incredible stuff. How to build a billion dollar business. Doesn't that sound good? So I spent an hour with Scott Shea, who literally did build a billion dollar business from scratch. Um, New York Times bestselling author Jeff Perlman, an incredible interview on storytelling, marketing, branding, uh, YouTube ads. We've got how to get lucrative consulting clients, podcasting tips with Cliff Ravenscraft, how to sell your book on Amazon. And once you get into the training here, it's all in Thinkific. You can see here's John Lee Dumas' interview. And then we've got several interviews. And it's a mixture of video and audio. So you're going to get... Uh, links and downloads and transcripts and audio that you can take with you. You're going to understand how this works, how to really monetize your knowledge. And here's the topics that I've 
built into the course. So five different interviews on entrepreneurship with big names, eight different interviews on marketing and branding. So you're going to really understand some key components from, you know, everything from personal branding to Disney, right, to Jared Robbins talking about what he learned from his dad, Tony Robbins, to selling to the affluent, to selling. Uh, Matt Sweetwood sells these high-end, ultra-luxury services and products to super, super, super wealthy people. This was a fascinating interview because he really pulls back the curtain on how do you do that? Like, how do you actually sell to like super rich people? (laughs) And the lessons are incredible in this. So you're going to love it. Um, And then we've got nine different sessions on lead generation and sales. So how to get nonstop referrals with Stacey Brown, Randall, um, YouTube ads, This was a really popular one, How to Get Lucrative Consulting Clients. This was an interview I actually went back and listened to a few times and took notes um, because it was so good. David Fields, high, high high-end consultant, just gave away a ton of great knowledge and expertise. So you can see there's copywriting with Nick Osborne, who's done copy for Apple and BMW and all these big places, Um, sales tips, how to sell your book on Amazon, affiliate marketing with Matt McWilliams. I've got a bunch on podcasting, too. So another one with John Lee Dumas. Rob Greenlee, who was like one of the first podcasters ever, big name in that space, how to actually turn your podcast listeners into leads with Tom Schwab from Interview Valet. Cliff Ravenscraft, of course, with Cliff, nothing is brief. We went over an hour into all his best tips on building a you know profitable podcast. You can see it's over an hour of training. Um, but again, all of this is available for you right now inside this course. It's just $47. You have a 30-day risk-free money-back guarantee. And, and really, I consider it kind of a master class in marketing, entrepreneurship, sales, personal branding, podcasting, all these core areas where you really want to understand how do you monetize your knowledge, like what we've been talking about today, it's in here. Like people are sharing in here as an entrepreneur how you monetize, like how you build your business, how you build a fans. This is Derek Webb, a musician who did an incredible thing uh, in entrepreneurship. Julian White going from zero to 48 million in 36 months, right? All these different things. How to, you know, master your personal brand and email marketing and all these different topics. So I cannot wait for you to get your hands on this. The beauty of this is you can just dip in and out of the course based on whatever topic you're interested in that day. You can listen to it on the go. All the audio is downloadable. Um, You can say, you know what? I really want to take a deeper dive on this topic. I'm going to just pop into entrepreneurship and see what I can learn from these experts. That's the key is that's why I call this on-demand experts. These are people who already have achieved the level of success that you and I want, right? That we want to be to. So again, I cannot wait for you to get signed up for this. Just put in your contact info, pick PayPal or credit card. It's just 47 bucks and you get instant immediate access, 30 days to go through the whole thing. Make sure you love it. If not, you know me, I'm not difficult. I'm going to give you a refund. There's no drama, no homework, none of that. So I cannot wait for you to get your hands on this because I know how much it will help you with today's theme and monetizing your knowledge. All right. So, man, I'm excited. I, you know, looking at that course, I'm like, golly, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of expertise in there. It really is sort of a library and on demand kind of treasure trove sorted by topic. So what I love about this course is one, I've tried to make it obviously with this special offer, super affordable, right? Just 47 bucks. It's normally 197. But two, I like this course for people that are like, I want to just pick and choose. It's almost not like channel surfing, but like, I want to go in, I want to learn about YouTube ads. I want to learn from an expert, or I want to learn about how to get high-end consulting clients. And I want to learn from an expert or I want to understand better how to do a podcast and learn from an expert. And that's what this is, is it's me interviewing these experts who have achieved that level of success that we all want to attain and strive to get. And they're basically pulling back the curtain. And so that's what I love about the on-demand experts course is you can really get in and get kind of the practical proven tips and strategies and tactics rather than guessing, right? Rather than hoping, rather than wondering. And the beauty of it is, is it's very easy to access, very, you know, on demand friendly. It's all there for you. So what I would love to do, let me make sure I've got the links in there. I'm going to pop open the link for everybody. Um, and what I want to do is just make sure that we have time to chat through it. 
Um, so let me, I'll just share my screen. You should be directed over to this page, right? On demand experts. And it's got everything there. What you'll discover, right? The checkout. And then in the bottom right here, uh, it says, let's chat. And that is actually me, right? So, um, you can chat with me there live and that way we can kind of hop off the webinar in the group setting and just get into one-on-one -on -one messaging. If you have questions about the course or anything else, happy to chat with you um, there and kind of take the conversation in that direction. So without further ado, what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and hop off the live broadcast. I think all of you guys are over there now on the On Demand Experts page. If not, just click the link in the chat or it should have popped open in a tab for you. And what we can do is kind of continue the, um, the conversation there and yeah, get you into the course. You're going to love it. There's so much value in there. You know, learning from experts, like Tony Robbins says, success leaves clues, right? And these are su successful people leaving clues behind on that on-demand experts course. So cannot wait for you to dive in and get it. Somebody just got it. I'm hearing dings, which is awesome. So let me know if you're signing up. Excited, excited to get you in there. Grab the course if you haven't already. Um, and there's lots, lots more goodies. So in the meantime, thank you, everybody, for being on live today. Thank you to everybody that's listening to the replay, um, watching the replay, the podcast, all that good stuff. Got much, much more coming up with you. As you know, every single Friday noon with Nemo, we're always bringing in more stuff. Um, next week, I'm not even sure what we're covering, but I'm sure it'll be great. <laughs> Hold on. Let me look it up. Now I'm now I'm making myself curious. Um, before I log off the live broadcast, let me see. So next week, next Friday, just trying to pull up noon with Nemo here. We are going to talk about, oh, this is a good one, why people buy. So next week, we're going to talk about kind of the simple secrets that nobody's really told you about when it comes to sales. So without further ado, I'm going to hop off. I've got live chats coming in. Uh, Edith is all over it. She knows is why people buy. Thanks for being on the live broadcast. Hop over, grab the On Demand Experts course. There's also one-on-one -on -one chat over there. Um, with that said, I'll uh, hit end on the live broadcast here. Hop over to the On Demand Experts page. We can chat one-on-one. -on -one. And otherwise, have a great, great weekend. Talk to you later. Oh, and hey, Miles got it. All right, awesome, Miles. You got the course. GLD is great stuff. Yes, he is. Uh, super excited about that. Well, now I'm going to stay on and celebrate with Miles. Glory. All right, love it. Somebody else just grabbed it, which is awesome. All right, and I'm trying to pull up the chat. I've got live chats going too. So let me know in the chat um, if you're signing up. It looks like somebody, now my live chat client won't load. So I'll... um. I'll try to load that on the side, but I'm excited. Miles, you're going to love it. Uh, JLD is great. Yeah. He did great stuff on there. I think I have two with John Lee Dumas in there. Cause yeah, he's, he's a force of nature. As you know, um, yeah, for some reason, my live chats aren't loading. Oh, okay. All right. Hello. Okay. So uh, I got somebody in LA. Um, oh, okay. I got, um, it's like, David in Seattle. Okay, David in Seattle, I'm going to respond to you. David in Seattle. We're live chatting over there. All right, so uh, everybody else, hop over. I'm going to start live chatting with you. If you've got questions um, about my other courses, trainings done for you, all that stuff, um, super excited. Um, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, everybody, for being on, and we'll see you next week on Noon with Nemo.